Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening. Let me see what's going on here. Ahí está. There we go. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so welcome, guys, to your last class. Okay, today is your last class of this module, right? So congratulations for getting this far. Okay, I know that there are many things that probably, uh, let's put it like that, we started, right? But the idea is that you try to um, get the most of it, right? And, and if, you know, still you have doubts, we have today's class. So I can clarify them, okay? And well, yesterday I was very happy because you were able to give me examples and sentences, you know, about uh, the, the topic, right, that we studied, which is given recommendations and opinions, right? And for this, we were using uh, should be required, shouldn't be allowed, ought to be required, must be passed, mustn't be permitted, has to be made, and has got to be done, right? So after this, right, we have still a couple of things also, right, you were using the phrases to offer a different opinion. I think yesterday you had a better idea, right, on, on, on how to use these phrases, which are very useful, right? Um, then there is a listening here, but we don't have access to that info, right? And then we have a little bit of vocabulary words, okay, with social issues or social problems. Uh, uh, Miguel Arsenio, dígame. Sorry, teacher. Um, I can participate in this class because I go to my house in the right now. Ah, vaya, perfect. Okay. Cualquier cosa, pues ahí escribe al chat. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So I'm going to over here, right, show you these um, vocabulary words. And what I need you to do is to read them and let me know if you have questions, right? So I'm going to. Move over here. Ya pasó la lista, permítanme. Very good. So here we have, which of these issues are problems in your community? Check the appropriate boxes. So take a look at the different issues or social issues or social situations, social matters, you know, that are around. So we have company downsizing, ethnic conflict, graffiti, gun violence, illiteracy, inadequate healthcare, lack of affordable childcare, noise pollution, stray animals, and street crime. So, solo el vocabulario lo vamos a revisar, okay? Uh, these are problems or social problems that most, you know, uh, people in, uh, in society, you know, face, right? Company downsizing, uh, it's when, for example, we have a, a lot of um, people being laid off, right? Uh, la gente que despiden por, eh, le llaman, eh, ¿cómo le llaman? Reducción de, de personal, ¿verdad? That is company downsizing. Luego tenemos ethnic conflict o, conf o un conflicto étnico, right? Graffiti, bueno, cuando eh, las paredes, pues, se utilizan como lienzo para esas personas que les gusta el graffiti, ¿verdad? Gun violence, que es violencia pues con armas, ¿verdad? Y literacy, que es pues digamos el analfabetismo, ¿verdad? Una persona que no puede leer ni escribir. Inadequate healthcare, healthcare es este, la, la salud, ¿verdad? Eh, la salud, el tema de salud, en el caso de nosotros, we have... Eh, Also a healthcare system o un sistema de salud, ¿verdad? Lack of affordable childcare. Eh, bueno, aquí no se da, pero en otros países sí, ¿verdad? Ellos ofrecen, eh, how can I say it? Como un servicio, ¿verdad? Las mamás que desean trabajar, entonces tienen un childcare, que es el cuidado, ¿verdad? De los, de los niños. Eh, noise pollution, que es la contaminación del, del ruido. ¿verdad? que creo que en todos lados se da. Stray animals. Stray animals son los, eh, los perritos, los gatitos, ¿verdad? Que, que están abandonados en las calles, ¿verdad? 
por los perros o los animalitos callejeros, ¿verdad? Eh, luego tenemos street crime, que es crimen en las calles, ¿verdad? Those were some vocabulary words that we were able to find. Voy a pasar lista, chico, antes que se me olvide. Ayer, ayer pasé después de la media hora. Eh, déjeme ver, permítame, solo busco la fecha. Aquí está. Vaya, eh, Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Thank you. Eh, Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. No está. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Gracias. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Present. Thank you. Dam Damaris, Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. And Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Presente. Thank you. María Griselda de la Paz Zamora. María Griselda de la Paz Zamora. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín, que me dijo que va en el, en el transporte. ¿verdad? Rufino Amílcar Hernández Linares. Presente. Gracias. Sandra Yanet Vázquez Cortés. I'm here. Thank you. Saúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín. Saúl Arnulfo y Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Presente. Thank you very much. ¿Alguien más que se haya unido mientras estaba pasando lista? Ajá. Que veo que hay dos más, ¿no? Ok, very good. Entonces, let's go ahead and continue here. Right. Give me one moment. There we go. So let's go ahead and move on to the conversation, right? So here is a very short conversation and then we have the grammar focus, which, which is related to question tags. Recordemos que estos temas, pues yo los eh, me empecé la explicación la semana pasada, ¿verdad? También hicimos este de plagiarism, right? Así de que let's take a look at the conversation here. We will check the grammar. And after that, also, we will check the uh, the exam, right? Because we're going to dedicate some minutes um, to to that so we can have a, the complete, you know, uh, answers on that. Now, uh, over here in the conversation, they mentioned the same social issues, right? It says, it isn't cheap, is it, right? So in the conversation, we have uh, Sarah and Todd, okay? Can I have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation? A couple of volunteers to read the conversation? Thank you, Madeline, and who else? And Byron. Entonces, me ayuda Madeline con, Madeline con Sarah y Byron con Todd, please. I, I'm sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> um, health insurance, shelter bills, re um, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? 
Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children? I think so, too, but they don't have any services like that, my school. Very good, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look here at the words, right? And especially to the question tags, okay? Now it says, um, and thank you guys. Thank you, uh, Madeline and Byron for reading the conversation, right? Well, I don't know, is there, um, or are there more volunteers that wanted to read the conversation? No? Okay, very good, so. Oh, well, Elizabeth del Carmen, she wants to read, okay? Who, who else? ¿Quién más le ayuda, Elizabeth? With the conversation? Ana Cecilia, okay? So, Ana Cecilia, eh, eh, ayúdeme con Todd. Elizabeth, ayúdeme con Sarah. Okay. Health insurance, ch child care, bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part-time, I have a hard time making ends meet. You are on mute, Ana Cecilia. Excuse me. Don't worry. Health insurance is really expensive. It's neat. Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child care, is it cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. College should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Thank you very much, uh, girls, for helping with the conversation. And obviously, here we're talking about the United States, right? Now, in the United States, you know, they have this type of help that is given by the government, right? In the United States, you can get help for your kids, right? You can get also free daycare, right? You can get uh, free, um, or in this case, health, care right for your for kids and uh obviously El Salvador is different right so I will read it one more time so please pay attention to the pronunciation of some words right health insurance child care bills rent now that I'm going to school and only working part-time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Making ends meet, guys, es cuando nosotros hacemos todo lo posible para que nos alcance el dinero. Eso es making ends meet, right? Haciendo lo posible para que alcance. Let me see if I can find a translation for this one. Pero no estoy hablando de Google Translate, ¿verdad? No recomiendo eso sino de un diccionario en inglés, okay? Aquí está. So it says make ends meet, it's uh, to have just enough money to pay for the things that you need, right? So that is the, the meaning of this particular um, idiom. Es un idiom, ¿verdad? Entonces, that is make your ends meet. Ya se los paso que no me había fijado que no había abierto WhatsApp web. Bye. Then it's uh, Todd says health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare, isn't it cheap? Is it? 
No, it's not, right? After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Now, if you see guys, when we talk about, uh, when we want reassurance, cuando queremos que, cuando buscamos ese como, ay sí, verdad, verdad que sí, verdad. Cuando nosotros buscamos esa frase en, en, en los demás, verdad, we can use a question tags. How do they work? Well, over here, I'm going to uh, highlight them. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Childcare isn't cheap, is it? Uh, no, only those two sentences, okay? Now, if you see, this one is an, an affirmative sentence. Therefore, the um, question tag is in negative. If the sentence is affirmative, the question tag is in negative, right? And then it says, childcare isn't cheap, is it? Now we have a sentence that is negative. Therefore, we need the question tag in the affirmative form, okay? Now, uh, over here, here you have like um, more examples. Let me erase all my drawings and I will share with you this information. There you go, okay? so. Tag questions, affirmative statement plus negative tag. Negative statement plus affirmative tag, okay? Can I have a volunteer to read the examples with the affirmative uh, with the affirmative way, this one? Can I have a volunteer? Thank you, Elizabeth del Carmen. Affirmative statement plus negative tab. <clears throat> Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are laws of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes over things looks ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare shouldn't they? Very good. Thank you very much. And who can help me with the negative statements? Thank you, Byron. <laughs> Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police are there. People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? Thank you very much, okay? So child care isn't cheap, is it, right? So here, as you can see, all my sentences are negative, right? Therefore, my question tag is affirmative, okay? Now, also, we have the same situation in, on, on the other, on the other uh, half, right? We have affirmative sentences and we have the, the, the negative question tag. Now, if you remember, right, I have already shared with you a chart. Tenemos que seguir un cuadrito que nos dice, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo es que debemos usar las question tags? I think I did it last week. Creo que lo hice la semana pasada. Déjeme ver. Let me see. Sí, aquí está. Remember that for question tags, right? Eh, you need to, aquí le voy a poner que es esta. You need to remember that we have different tenses. Hay diferentes tiempos y podemos usarla con todos esos tiempos, right? For example, here we have verb be, isn't it? Aren't there? Present simple, doesn't it? Should, shouldn't it, right? Again, present simple, is it? Are there? Pero present simple de verbo to be, ¿verdad? Present simple de, to, de los demás verbos. Do they? Can't. Right for abilities. Can you? 
Okay, very good. So these are uh, some sentences that we have, right? Eh, no, no sé si estoy equivocada. Estas creo que les aparecían en el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Este fue el que completamos en la plataforma, ¿correcto? Yo creo que sí. Yes. Yeah. ¿Verdad sí. que sí? Ok, correcto, está fuera. Muy bien. Very good. Permítanme. Vaya, luego pa pasamos acá, ¿verdad? Eh, esa parte no la íbamos a ver y llegábamos a lo que es how serious is plagiarism, right? Ese lo leímos, ¿verdad? Y también eh, pudimos eh, completar los ejercicios, ¿ok? Now, what we're going to do right now is to have a quick uh, practice, ¿ok? Related to question tags, right? Question tags, eh, they are... Eh, yo creo que con question tags, fíjense chicos, que entre, entre más se practique, creo yo que es más, eh, se comprende mejor, ¿verdad? Eh, en la parte de question tags. So, let me see if, I, if we can practice a little bit here. Y pues luego le dedicamos la última, la última parte de la clase a revisar el examen nada más. Permítanme. Déjenme ver. Para pasarles un link. Bye. This is a link. Please go to this one. Se lo voy a dejar aquí en, 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 en Zoom. Démosle clic, por favor. Y vamos a practicar un poquito, ¿verdad? Con question tags. Okay, and that is going to be the first one. Se va a ser la primera. Okay, y vamos a hacer luego uno más, ¿verdad? Y con esos dos vamos a finalizar. So right now I'm going to give you guys five minutes, okay? Five minutes for you to go ahead and work on this one, okay? Veamos, tal vez no five, pero sí six. Okay, y me van pasando por favor por aquí en, en el chat de Zoom, no en el de WhatsApp, al de WhatsApp no, ¿verdad? En el chat de Zoom me pasan sus resultados, por favor, para no saturar el otro. Vaya, esos cinco minutos comienzan ahora. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Perdón, creo que les moví aquí. Aquí está.
teacher, yes. I I finished, but I can't to share the picture. I can share. I can share the picture. Ah, bye. Okay, no problem. No problem. Just check your mistakes, okay? Solo revise ahí los errores que le aparecen para tomarlos en cuenta. Okay. Um, it's necessary to send a picture on WhatsApp. No, no, tiene que ser a través de Zoom porque como es actividad de clase no va para WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y si ya terminó, I'm going to share with you the second link. Voy a compartir el segundo link para los demás, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Muy bien, Rufino, 7 de 10, dice, muy bien. Solo hay que revisar ahí en qué se equivocó, ¿verdad? Y when you finish the first one, then move to the second one, ¿ok? Vaya chicos, hemos completado ya el primero. Have you finished number one? Vamos ya por el segundo. Solo me dicen, porfa, porque si no, no sé cómo, cómo van para, para el tiempo, ¿verdad?
Ok. Vaya, chicos. Three more minutes y en tres minutos pues regresamos aquí a la parte del, del tema. Y si no, pues luego los pueden terminar, no hay problema. Pueden hacerlo nuevamente, solo guarden los links, eso sí, ¿verdad? Para que no, eh, para que los tengan disponibles después. Bye, chicos. So um, if you didn't finish, don't worry, right? You can complete them later. The idea is just to have a couple of exercises, right, for you to complete them, okay? If you made a mistake, right, porque no le va a decir en qué se equivocó, sino que do it again, right? Al final le va a decir cuánto sacó. No le van a salir respuestas, Elizabeth, pero le va a decir cuáles son las correctas y cuáles son las incorrectas, right? So you have to find out, okay, which ones are the, the wrong ones, so you can do it again. Al menos eso es la ventaja hoy en día de los links, ¿verdad? Que you can practice the exercise and you can do it as many times, right, as possible or um, as you wish, right? Bye. What is the other topic for today? Well, one of the important things for today, right? Y ya vamos a regresar otra vez a las, a las uh, question tags porque sí tenemos que, que revisarlas, okay? But uh, question tags, right? Uh, they, they, uh, they are important and we're going to do some, some uh, examples. Over here, uh, there is a listening, right? And for the, we didn't do this one, but we're going to do it right now, okay? So I'm going to make sure that I am sharing the sound with you. Okay, so let's listen to the first part. And for this one, it says, the final version of a movie isn't in order, doesn't have sound effects, is put together by the editor and director. Right? This is number three. So let's go ahead and listen. Three. Hey, Erica, I hear you're studying filmmaking. Yeah, 
It's what I've always wanted to do. So what has to happen to make a movie? First, the director divides the script into scenes. Oh, why's that? Well, the scenes may not be shot in the order they appear in the script. Different scenes may have to be done at different locations or at certain times, you know? So the director is someone who is very organized. Absolutely. Anyway, many different shots are taken, and the director chooses the best takes. So how is the final version made? Well, the takes are put together by the director and the editor. Then music, sound effects, and any computer graphics are added. And there's your movie. Four. Cheryl, these are great photos. What's your secret? Well, I studied photography in school. After that, I was a photojournalist at a magazine for three years. But look at these landscape shots. Is landscape photography something that requires special skills? Yes. Pictures of landscapes have to be taken with great care. You need to make sure that as much of your scene as possible is in focus. What about weather? Well, most people think the best pictures are taken on a sunny day, but that isn't always true. An overcast rainy day or a snowy day could offer you better opportunities to take interesting pictures. Taking a picture in bad weather requires a bit of a risk, I imagine. But the results are worth it. These are really incredible, Cheryl. Very good. So let's go back here, okay? So what about the final version of the movie, guys? Is it number one, number two, or number three? What do you think? What is the correct um, the correct option? Es ella lo hicieron, es el examen, remember. Pero es un requerimiento el último día de clase, verdad, que lo resolvamos. So what do you think it's the best option to answer, uh, to complete, you know, this sentence? One, two, or three? I think it's, it's three, teacher. Okay, it's put together by the editor and director, okay? What about number four? Cheryl has a good landscape photographer, has to understand. The second. Uh, how weather can affect a photo, okay? And then part two, okay? Let's listen to part two. One. Hey, Ray, that was quite a party last night. Yeah, it was fun. I'm still cleaning up, though. What are you doing with all the bottles and cans? I'll take the cans to the recycling center and throw away the bottles. Oh, no. You should take the bottles, too. Nah, I don't get any money for recycling glass. No, but I think everyone should be required to recycle glass anyway. It's a waste to throw it away. Yeah, but recycling centers should be required to pay people who return cans and bottles. Then they won't throw them away. Two. Hey, Danielle. I saw you biking to work yesterday. Oh, yeah. When my car died, I decided to buy a bike. I figured I could do something about the traffic downtown and get some exercise at the same time. But there are very few bike lanes, aren't there? And in any case, cars use them. I know. Drivers who do that should be fined. A hundred dollars at least. It's so dangerous. Cyclists don't always behave so well either. I've seen them ride side by side and not allow cars to pass. Yeah, and I've seen cyclists without helmets, too. Yeah, cyclists should be required to wear helmets. And if they don't, they should be fined $100. Very good. Actually, I agree. So, Ray doesn't recycle glass because one, two, or three? Number two. Two. Okay, he doesn't get any money. Danielle bought a bike because she? Number one. Number one. Number one. 
wants to reduce uh, traffic, okay? Let's go ahead and send our answers. And as you can see, all of them are correct. Good job, okay? Then in the second one, we have a reading, okay? I'm going to read it and then you're going to tell me the answers, okay, for this reading. Okay, <laughs> ahí está. It says, animated movies aren't just for kids. Some of the most popular movies in 2010 were Toy Story 3, How to Train Your Dragon, and This Pickable, this pickable uh, Me. <laughs> in fact, Pixar's Toy Story 3 became the highest crossing animated movie ever made. Animated movies are fast becoming an important force in the movie industry. Making animated movies can take much longer than making a traditional movie. This is partly because approximately seven hours are needed to render one single frame of an animated movie. Wow, that's a lot. In fact, some frames can take up to 39 hours to render. Toy Story 3 took 1,884 days for nearly three years to make. Most animated movies have big name stars attached to them. Well, to the voice characters, right? The voice, uh, to voice the characters. Tom Hanks voiced the character of Woody in Toy Story movies, while Angelina Jolie was cast as the voice of Tigress in Kung Fu Panda. Using famous actors' voice or to voice animated characters is meant to tempt adults into going to animated movies with their children. Studio executives know that, that the bigger the name, the more likely adults will tag along with their kids. To further emphasize the impact animated movies have had on the movie industry, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences began giving, giving out Academy Awards for Best Animated Features in 2001. The prestige of winning such an important award results in more ticket sales for movie theaters and more profits for animated movie makers. Okay, so do you have questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? No, teacher. Okay, let's see the answers. Okay, I'm going to close here. And let's move to this part. Oops, permítame. A good, good title for the article would be Animated Movies Are Just for Kids, Animated Movies Result in Ticket Sales and Awards, or Big Nate Movie Stars Avoid Animated Movies. What do you think is the correct answer? The second option. The second. Okay, animated movies result in ticket sales and awards, okay? Render, paragraph two means translate from raw to final form, bring a fact uh, to your mind that you knew before or have an opinion. Number one. Number one, translate from raw to final form. Raw means algo crudo, ¿verdad? algo que no está listo to the final form. That is render. Cast in number three, paragraph three means speak clearly, choose actors for parts, throw something into the air. Number second, teacher. The second one? Yes. Okay. In number four, animated movies have had a positive or negative or no effect on the movie industry. A positive. A positive, okay. Let's go ahead and send our answers. And as you can see, all of them are correct, okay? Now, over here, right in number, well, this is one letters A. Aquí están al revés, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos B. 
write the words. Okay, now this one, okay, you already did it. Eh, creo que este, no, no sé si lo hicimos juntos, no recuerdo, pero don't worry, we will do it together right now. Por ahí vi que en el chat también habían preguntado. Así que let's go ahead and work on this one right now. It says number one, right? In number one, it says write the words, right? Instructions. Anita accidentally deleted an important file. So her boss wasn't prepared for an important meeting. Read the sentences and choose from the words below the one the one that best defines it. I guess that best defines it. Just type in the word, no capital letter or period it's needed. You should keep track of your computer files. What is that? It's a suggestion. Very good, right? It's a suggestion. So what I recommend is to copy and paste, okay? If you do it again, you lose your job. What is that? Warning, teacher. Okay, a warning. Very good. You are so irresponsible. You lose everything. Mm -hmm. Number three, you're so irresponsible, you lose everything. Criticism. Okay, criticism, right? Criticism. Criticism. Okay, number four, it wasn't your fault. Someone else deleted the file. It's an excuse. An excuse, okay, very good. You'll probably find the file in the trash on your computer. Prediction. Prediction, right? Very good. Over here, instructions. Complete the paragraph, use the passive of the verbs given. Just type in the verb. Okay, ese creo que es, no, no sé, no, creo que no lo hicimos. Eh, to prepare for ATV talk show, research has to, Be done. Be done, right? To find interesting guesses, such as movie stars and authors, right? Next, the selected people must. Be ranked. Be ranked, right? In order of preference. Three. The top choices are contacted. Are contacted, right? The top choices contacted. are contacted to see if they can appear on the on the on the show, right? If some of them are unavailable, the next people on the list are invited. Very good, are invited to appear instead, right? Very good. So as you can see, all our answers are correct, right? So if you had a mistake, don't forget to check it out. And the last one, okay, this one, we uh, did it together as well, right? Um, we have to join the, st the sentences, okay? So what do you remember? Number one, what would be the, the, the sentence that we have in number one? No, you don't remember? <laughs> Bye, pues, veámoslo acá, en solo. Voy a abrir aquí el blog de notas. So the first one is like this, right? A gaffer, comma, who know who works on a movie or TV crew, comma, has to carry out the lighting design. Okay. 
Then we have dialogue editors are sound technicians. They specialize in editing film scripts, right? In this case, we had several versions, right? But I recommended using this one, which is dialogue editors are sound technicians who specialized in editing film scripts, right? Three. A property master is responsible for buying props. Props son cosa de utilería, ¿verdad? They are handled by the actors, right? So for this one, okay, we have a property master is responsible for buying props that are handled by actors, okay? A critics write film reviews. They sometimes see more than 10 movies a week, right? So for this one, we had several options, but I recommended using this one. Critics, comma, who sometimes see more than 10 movies a week, comma, write film reviews, right? And finally, executive producers aren't involved in shooting a film. They are responsible for the budget, right? So in this case, right, I said that we have a couple of options, but the one that I recommended was this one. Executive producers, comma, who are responsible for the budget, comma, aren't involved in shooting a film, okay? So let's go ahead and send this information. And as you can see, all of them are correct, okay? So, um, I'm going to stop here, guys, because it's time, almost time, and I'm going to pass the attendance. After that, I will let you go, right, and, and that's going to be uh, all for today. And as you can see, that's the last section over here in the, um, in the platform, okay? Espero que no hayan tenido este dificultad. Yo creo que no, porque todos aparentemente habían terminado su plataforma, ¿verdad? Así que... Eh, Creo que la, la parte que más nos dio este problemita fue la sección 5, ¿verdad? Porque fueron de donde más habían, eh, bueno, de, de las secciones que ustedes más preguntaron. Y sí, la verdad es que eran temas como este, que son las eh, defining and non-defining relative clauses. Teníamos lo de um, también los models, ¿verdad? Que usamos. And... ¿Cuál fue el otro de este? I don't remember. No me acuerdo cuál fue el otro. But I think, okay, you did, you did great. Okay, you did great. Y solo voy a preguntar ahorita por los que no me contestaron en la primera toma de, de la asistencia. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. No vino. Eh... Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. María Griselda de la Paz Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Y Saúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín. Saúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín no está. O ya se fue. O no vino. Bueno. Ahí está. Bueno, chicos, I'm going to stop here, but thank you very much for joining. Thank you for the effort, ¿verdad? Y pues les deseo lo mejor en, en, este, en este, estos módulos que vienen, ¿verdad? Que, que pues logren alcanzar el objetivo, ¿verdad? Y nada más recomendarles siempre eh, practicar mucho, ¿verdad? Si nosotros no practicamos, no nos exponemos al idioma, no escuchamos, no leemos, no participamos, ¿verdad? Eso pues eh, alarga más el proceso y toma más tiempo y pues uno se frustra más, ¿verdad? Así que thank you for joining, guys. I wish you the best, ¿verdad? Have a good night and see you around. Thank, thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Take care, teacher. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks thank you. for your class. You're welcome. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good lucky. <laughs> Same to you.